Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be discussing about the important estate related interview questions and answers that can be asked to you when you are going for the interviews in companies like Amazon, PhonePay. So let's discuss the answer for this particular question. How to design an automation framework to test Twitter APIs that is used in a particular website with real-time example and proper explanation. So this explanation, this particular question was asked to one of my subscriber. She went to give an interview at the Amazon company and she got this question. So we will be looking into this particular question. And apart from that, I've got a few of the questions along with the answers that were asked for the estate performance testing related questions at phone pay company. So for example, they were asked, explain useful commands for JMeter, explain correlation, then explain JSON extractor, explain bean shell. So it was a kind of a role as the role in which they needed the experience of the performance testing as well. So those questions also I have included. So this is actually one of the digital product that I have created and it is available on the top mate at the discounted price today. So it covers questions from various companies like Flipkart, Amazon, Apple, PhonePay, MasterCard, and you can avail this product. It has questions along with the answers and it is available at 40% of discount today. Now, let us look into the answer for that particular question. So we would be telling you about the folder structure. What would be, what would your test automation framework look like? And what are the different steps that you can explain in an interview? So this is how one of the simple API test framework would look like. It has two hierarchies. One is SRC slash main slash Java, and it has SRC slash test slash Java. So within main slash Java, you will have the Twitter API client. Now, before you start with the framework, you can also discuss with the interviewers about the APIs. So generally, as of now, you can think of two APIs from the Twitter on a high level, I'm telling, so posting. So if you want to post some message in the form of text or in the form of image or maybe GIF or maybe video or short content, then it would be coming in the form of post. If you want to retrieve the data or if you want to get something, so that would come in the form of get. So this would be your requirements. You will have post, you will have an API for get. And then you have to automate these particular things. So within your API test framework, you would have the APIs, the Twitter API client, you will have authentication. You would be using some token mechanism. Then the utils, you would be using config loader.java. You will have configuration.properties file in the form of resources. Then in the test, you would be having Twitter API test and the Twitter UI test. So both the kinds of tests you need to keep in your automation framework. And apart from this, the logging mechanism, you might be using log4j. And this particular integration needs to be done with the CACD as well. So those particular things you can include. So such kind of things you have to explain in an interview. Now you might be thinking that uh, we have just created two or three tests. Is it uh, viable? Is it feasible? Or is it good practice to include it in the CACD or not? So I would suggest irrespective of whether you have one test or two tests or 100 tests, once you start doing the test automation, immediately you should integrate it with the CICD because that is also one of the questions that was asked to one of my subscriber event for the estate uh, this interview. And he got the question that when will you start doing the integration with the CICD? So, so as soon as you have one test, as soon as you have two tests ready, you should parallelly start doing the integration with the CICD and include the CICD as a part of your process itself. So tomorrow onwards, it does not remains like a kind of a backlog that your tests are running on some machine, but you have to test it via CICD. So it becomes very important that you cover the CICD aspect with respect to your automation itself. So whenever you are giving the estimation for some particular user story in a sprint, you should include the effort for just running the test and troubleshooting if there is some error via CICD in that particular moment itself. So that becomes very important. So post and get, and then logs we saw form.xml because it's a Maven project. And apart from this, the reporting mechanism, you would be having extended reports or you will be having earlier reports. So those kind of things you would be including. So such answer I have included in this product itself, right? So step-by-step, step, how you can explain an interview, 
you'll be setting up the Maven project. Then you will be doing authentication. You will be storing the API keys, right? You will be interacting with that particular Twitter APIs, right? Then you'll perform the Selenium setup and integrating API test with Selenium UI test. So those all things, assertions, validations, very important. So at the end, your summary of the framework would look like this. You will have a modular structure. You will have separation of API test, UI automation, and configuration. Never ever keep the API test and UI test together in the framework. Keep them separate. You should go for a modular approach. Then you have API testing with the REST ASO. So you'll be validating the Twitter API responses that you're getting. Right. You'll be going for CI-CD integration, you'll be going for logs, you'll be going for reporting mechanism. So all those things you would include. And then and then only you will be able to come up with the proper design of your test automation framework in which you have to validate the Twitter APIs responses that you are getting. Right. So this was a short video on the question that was asked to one of my subscribers, how to design an automation framework to test Twitter APIs that is used in a particular website with real-time example and proper explanation. So in this product, you would get many other questions, many other answers as well, which are pertaining to estate related. So you can avail this product today at 40% of discount, and you can start preparing for estate interviews because these companies like Amazon, PhonePay, they are hiring now. Even EPAM company has started hiring. So these all companies are good companies. You should start preparing and you should start getting interviews with these companies. Right? So that's it for this video. Thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for more updates.